Uh, my classes are not easy. They are fun for me. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the way it is sometimes. Uh, sometimes people insist on not having fun in my classes, and but I really have no choice but to have fun because I, I really like what I do. And uh, so the only way to show people how to, how to have fun in your lives is to keep having fun regardless of what's coming up for somebody else. But I was working in uh, the D.C. area, Alexandria, Virginia, and a real good friend of mine's brother came to the class. They were both chiropractors, and the younger brother had never done a class with me. And the class was not only intense, it was very uh, rough. Okay, sometimes when the shadow comes up and you step into that world, uh, people take it personal. And, and it was really kind of a rough weekend for this young man. And I heard that it was a rough weekend and he didn't like it. Um, but one of the things he said in the class was he was practicing in Dallas, Texas. And he didn't like Texas. He went to school down there, kind of got trapped in a practice, and he wanted to come home up into the Northeast, up into Connecticut or Massachusetts, up in one of those states up there. <laughs> Sorry. But... Uh, I was next. I was at a party, and I heard that this young chiropractor was going to be there, and I knew that he didn't like the class, or that he'd had a tough. I knew that he had a tough time in class because I was there with him. But uh, when he came into the party, I thought, man, I better walk right up and see whether he's going to punch me or not, or you know, at least let him know I wasn't going to run away from him all evening. You know what I mean? I'm not. And uh, so I went up and I shook his hand. I said, hey, how you doing? And he looked at me for a long time and I thought it was an extremely mature and entertaining uh, response to shaking my hand. And he looked at me for a long time and he said, um, this is not going to go as I've been rehearsing it. <laughs> Which, get it, he was rehearsing, meeting me again and, and it just, I don't know what happened, but it wasn't going to go as how he, but I enjoyed the honesty and I laughed at him. And he said, look, I didn't like your class. And I said, I'm real clear about that. I've heard it through the grapevine, and, and it wasn't an easy class on you. I said, it was fun for me, but I understand. And he said, he said, and I'll never give you credit for anything that happened in that class. And I said, okay, I, I can take that. I really don't, you know, that's fine with me. He said, and one of the things, like I said, he was driving. We were, this was in, a, we were back in Alexandria at this party the second time I saw him. And what he was doing was he was driving from Texas with a U-Haul with his dad to go home, right? One of the things he said he wanted in the class. And he said, I'll never give you any credit for anything that's changed in my life out of that class. And I said, okay, that's fine, as he's moving back to where he wants to live. And he said, when I went back to Texas, he said, even though the practice isn't mine, he said, every one of the numbers doubled for the first two weeks back. He said the number of new patients doubled, the number of patient visits doubled, the number of in, the amount of income doubled. He said, but it had nothing to do with you. He said, I know it all changed in the weekend. I know what happened. He said, but you don't get any of the credit. I hear that fairly frequently. It's well worth it. Thanks for listening. Uh, Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing is my book. I'll talk to you soon.